All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word. And all truth and sincerity. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Shalom Akim. I'm going to play this video here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to play this video here. Okay. Look at this, nice and soft. Can't really see it. Ursula, sal de ese cuerpo. Ursula, uh, bitch. Yeah, disgusting. we cooked you up, ho. Hmm. There's more. There's more. Oh, this one is big. Oh, this one is heavy. Hmm. Talk to me, nice. No. All right. So right here we have. This not we have an octopus, no bitch. More. Look at this, nice and soft. Can't really see it. My Ursula, sal de ese cuerpo. Ursula, bitch. Yeah, we cooked you up, ho. Ugh, disgusting, man. My, I remember my uncle. You see that shit, man. One time, some guy show up at the house, and he show up with a bag, and he said, "Hey, give this to your uncle." I said, "What up?" He said, "Hey, just give this to your uncle." I said, "Not nah, take this inside of this house unless I know what's inside that bag." And I say. Or oh, some food, food for your uncle there. Yeah. Some octopus. I said, what? Nasty blood clots in that man. <laughs> Even from picnic. Whenever you yam them thing there. Yeah. But two thirds, you know. Let's get the scripture. Psalms 106. That's the jets, them. Yeah? yeah, they're doing some fucking flyby with these jets. Every year they do that, you know. They're, they're prideful ways, you know, Esau, Edom is. You know how the so called white man is. Showing off his military, just like the rest of these heathens too. You know, the Chinese, so-called Chinese do it, you know. Anyways, Psalms 106 and verse 35. But they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. Yeah, so going into that scripture there. It reminded me of that, exactly of that, okay? Uh, verse uh, 39, thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions, okay? And the Lord said, don't go after these other gods when you come and destroy them. Let me see if I can find that. When you come destroy them, don't go after their, their, their ways, man. Leave their thing alone. Step away from that. Don't inquire. You know, how these other, how do they serve the other, you know? No. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 29. When Yahweh thy power shall cut off the nations from before thee, whether thou goest to possess them, and, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land, take heed to thyself, that thou be not sneered, that thou be not sne sneered by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even, even so will I do likewise. Okay? So the Lord said, Don't do that. Yahweh Shem Yosai said, Don't do that. Okay? Don't go after their gods. Don't go after their ways. And this is exactly what you're seeing here with this shit. This octopus eating shit here. Okay? Being mingled amongst the heathen and learning their ways. Going after their ways. Oh, this one is heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It's real heavy. <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing those things. You know? And they always put these entertainers... The Jay Z's, the Beyonce's, the, the 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 Cardi B's, the Offsets, the Migos, you know these high performance entertainers. You know, they put them up there and they show these people. Look, even DJ Khaled, time he went to some cookout or something, and he have beer shrimp and this and you know, um, we call them thing there, where he crack them open and the pearl there inside. You know what I'm talking about. You know, all them escargot and all that, uh, you know, shrimp, bottom feeders, pig, pork, all that nastiness, man. The ways of the heathen, man. 
So that's why the Lord said, don't observe these things. Don't go after, don't go after their ways, man. Because we're not supposed to be eating no pork. Right now, you have two thirds running around. Uh, today is the day of atonement. Why am kapoor? Okay. Hi, I am kapoor. The day of atonement. If I did say it right, Slakia. So today is the day of, of, of atonement. Why am kapoor? You have. Two third Jake running around right now, yamming up, yamming up food. Jake don't even take a fast, man. The only time Jake take a fast is if he have a work, and he's at work and he's actually working, and then when break time comes, <laughs> that's when he's eating. Okay, Jake always won't fulfill the flesh, man. Run after the the, the lust of the flesh. In in part, the Lord told us don't do that. These heathens do that. These other nations do that. Well, unto you, you have a lost statute of commandments. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me tell us right here that all these other nations will look upon us and say, oh, wow. Right here. A Deuteronomy. You know what? Deuteronomy 4 and 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgment, judgments, even as Yahweh, my power, commanded me, that ye shall do so in the land where the he go to possess it, see? So when we go to possess that land, don't go falling after these other gods like we read back in Deuteronomy 12 and 30. You're not supposed to go seeking after them, okay? How they serve their God. I wonder, I wonder, you know, put that away. Verse 6, keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom, see? For this is your wisdom, separate from them, Okay? For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, see, which shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Hear all them things that fly across the sky? Soon enough, soon enough, you're gonna be living in times where those things are flying and dropping things, man. You guys are living comfortable now, man. Yeah? You, love, you, you love your comfortability now. Well, soon enough, you're going to be hearing those things scraping across the fucking sky. Dropping and licking and, and tapping beer bullets on people. And a the bullet them, the bullet them are the size of your fucking hand. Or ha half your hand. The whole, the whole cartridge is probably midway up your hand. Okay? So anyways, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And right now... The elect shall obtain it. The rest were blinded. Romans, right? I tell you in Romans. So, right now the elect is obtaining these things, knowing these things, and going out in the highways and byways, putting up these videos, you know, all that they can do to serve their Lord because they can see, they have an understanding. But that's only for the elect right now. You know? Uh, verse 7, For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them, as Yahweh our power is in all things that we call that we call upon him for. And what nation is it so great that have statues and judgments so righteous, you see that? So righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. Okay. So you know these things we're supposed to keep up in. We're continuing. We're rehearsing the righteous acts, right? So you got two thirds now who are running around and doing these things, these eating these abominable foods, acting and behaving like the heathen. Look at what? Let me see Jeremiah 2 and 33. Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Let's go into something real quick. Thy way. Yup. Way. Manner of life. Okay. Your habit. Okay. Your manner of life. Of course of life. Okay. And what's the course of life of an Israelite? What's the manner? How are you supposed to be walking? Okay. What path, what road, what way has been laid for us? What journey, what direction has been laid for us? 
these scriptures right here. Okay? We read it back in Deuteronomy. And you're trimming this to seek another. Okay? Why trimmest thou thy way? You hear that? You hear that thing rumble? I hope you can hear that. Okay? So you're trimming what Yahweh Shem Yahushai has set for you. Okay? Let's see. Let me pull some words out of here. For Ben March. Yeah, it costs lead to go. Yo. To walk. Draw, come. Yeah, you get the picture. So this is what two-thirds are about. Okay? Running after the ways of the heathen. Loving their ways. Putting off what, what way was for them. Their course of life. Their way. Their walk. Okay? The manner they're supposed to be behaving themselves in. To seek the love of these heathens. Which amount to nothing but destruction. Okay? Salakia. You know? To seek the ways of these heathens, man. Which amount to nothing but destruction. You want to go put your trust into people like Vocab? You want to Vocrab? You know? No way, Malone. You want to follow that guy? Okay. No way, Malone. Like my woman say. <laughs> say vocab, no way. No way, no way. Go away. <laughs> vocab, go away. Isaiah 36 and verse 6. Lo, thou trusted in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. He was supposed to be putting your trust into Yahweh Shem Yahushai, Jeremiah 17 and 7. But cursed be the man, Jeremiah 17 and 5. And that's what you guys have done. You sold out your ways. You sold out. You know, you've loved that law. That which was for your benefit, you know, you push it off. So I know Hebrew is like, what are you guys talking about? Look at this octopus. So heavy, so good. Mm -mm, so tasty. Can't really see. Ursula, sal de ese cuerpo. Ursula, bitch. Yeah, we cooked you up, ho. Hmm. There's more. There's more. Oh, this one is big. Oh, this one is heavy. Hmm. Talk to me, nice. All right. So right here we have we have an octopus, bitch. Look at this. Nice and soft. I just realized, son, that's a boiler? I thought that was a live fire on the stove, man. He ain't even, keep, he ain't even keeping it real, man. <laughs> even the fucking heathens do that, man. Put it on the fire. But here, Jake, blending and mixing his ways. Like we read back in one of those passages. Blending and mixing one of his ways, man. You know? Taking, taking on <laughs> amalgamation of shit. That's what two-thirds are, man. <laughs> Can't really see it. This Ursula, shit, sal de ese cuerpo. Ursula, bitch. Yeah, we cooked you up, ho. You gonna get cooked up, man. <laughs> Psalms 106 and verse 35. But they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a, which were a snare unto them. So you see, hey, man, you ain't supposed to be in that spirit. You're supposed to be walking in the spirit of who you are. You're an Israelite. Okay, that's there's a certain manner for you to walk. There's a certain way for you to walk. Okay, and that's with these scriptures, you know. But hey, man, you know the Lord gonna return, damage up this place, and get rid of all this shite, all this shit, you know, this mad, this madness. So, anyways, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word. And all truth and sincerity. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Shalom Akim. I hope you're edified. And wa abad babad. Shalom.